Hello lady bosses, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina Rivera and welcome to the Brand Ambassador Scam Show. If this is your first time here, I am so excited to have you. I make videos every single Monday and welcome to my show. I expose scams and keep you up on the latest and greatest. And if you get any type of information, please hit that like button and help this video get to 500 likes. And as well, if you get any knowledge, please subscribe to keep up, as I said, on the latest scams, as well as tips on how to be a brand ambassador. And if you clicked on today's video, you want to see if Sincere Sally is a real company or not. And it sucks because I'm refilming a video that I, it's the screen recording too. So let's start this video. contact with me you can send me an email at brand ambassador scam show at gmail.com you can also join my group on facebook at brand ambassador scam show go in there and request it and i'll definitely approve it so you can tell us your story leave us your comment below and don't forget to watch this video until the end so you can actually see if it's a scam or not so let's start this video so all these things, what they do are these little robots that go around commenting on your comments and YouTube and Instagram are actually both cracking into these bots and they're getting a little bit, a little bit better. I'm not saying they're getting the best, but yes, yeah, Sincere Sally is something that was supposed to be in season one. They disguise themselves and as online boutiques where you can probably get the outfit somewhere else cheaper for a fraction of the price and they call you a brand ambassador if you're ever gonna do anything when it comes to a brand ambassador you never pay for the clothing and number two you get paid so stop working for free 2000 so it says sincere sally international label fast world shipping or uh, wear now pay later okay so they have after pay so that is a kind of a good thing if they do work with other affiliates affiliates because sometimes the escalations can definitely be one out of many and this one was brought to me um to my attention by a few emails so the first one was updated four days ago and she is a fearless she's cute and they always prey on small influencers so they can make a quick sale and regardless what they're profiting two or three times or more um what the product is worth and it's okay if you don't sell because they already made money off of you so that's why they prey on the little ones um no tag she is gorgeous let's see okay cool she is cute so by the looks of it, people are getting their products. They got this girl that has, it's probably the biggest following I've probably ever seen here on the Brand Ambassador Scam Show. And uh, I, was, this is, I love these ones. They have one of these in Memphis. Okay, Fallbrook, California. Okay, she's from Fallbrook. Okay, girl, she is gorgeous. I've been to Fallbrook. Okay, so the looks of it, the girls are real. I don't think the girls were real before, but this is all like something they posted like four days ago. They're posting a lot. They're they're at 1200. I don't know what the first video had. The good thing is they are posting. Okay. And the shirt is, ooh, ooh, oh. I hate, I hate any time they try to, replicate a big brand because it's disgusting you can tell this is fake gucci if i see you walking around with items like this first of all this shirt is not worth 40 dollars. okay girl gang i'm gonna be like damn this girl is really really trying to pull off some fake gucci right now and she rocking that thing with some confidence see what the girl gang shirt goes for online let's go on wish is like literally my favorite website because they Usually this is what's going on. They're drop shipping from other places and a lot of people get impatient because they think they're gonna get their stuff early and they usually don't. And they're usually stuff from China that you're paying five times that it's worth. 
you know, do what you want. It's your money. I always say, and I always tell my lady bosses, go with your guts and watch any of my other videos so you can kind of see what's the pattern that are going on in between these because this is not like something that is not different from the others. They have little accounts that will get you and tell you, hey, brand ambassador, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, they're just trying to get you to buy something. Nike doesn't get you to buy their outfits by sending you messages on Instagram. So we found our girl gang shirt for $9 on Wish. And people really think they're models. These girls really think they are sincere models. And then they're probably giving it to you for half off. So they're selling it to you for 20. They're advertising it for 40. And they're making $10 off of you. And then you're working for free, which I'm pretty sure you're not gonna sell an outfit. And I'm not saying this to be completely mean. I'm just saying most people just scroll over unless you're a really, really big influencer, then you might be selling some products. But if you probably have, man, I got like 16,000 and you know, it sucks. Um, I know this one article I read, this girl had 2 million and she couldn't sell 36 shirts. Like if it's not your niche, it's not your niche. So now let's go back to their website. So let's visit their boutique, their online boutique. They usually all have this thing in common on, let's go back on Instagram though one last time. So you see all of these accounts. These are all people going around with fake names. And the bad thing is there is no location to these boutiques. So you are taking the risk completely yourself if you decide to buy because you don't know if these people are real or not. Like they're not real, we already know that. But you don't know if you're gonna get your item or not. Like if you live in India, if you live in a third world country, they probably are not gonna send anything because they know you're probably not gonna say anything. But the people that do get the items, I notice are people in America, people in Australia. And sometimes even people in um, UK get their items. But if you're kind of out of there, Peru, Brazil, I wouldn't even invest. I wouldn't even give them the benefit of the doubt. And I'm really surprised it took me this long to remake this video. Um, I don't personally think it's worth it when you can buy this shirt or the outfits somewhere else like i just bought these glasses at five and below because they were so cute and i'll post a picture and they are cute and i only wear stuff like once or twice so i'm good spending you know cheap on glasses knowing that i'm gonna lose them or break them because i'm not gonna take them out if they're expensive so 65 dollars like these are like a really really overpriced items that you can probably get cheaper this outfit was Sharon, so I mean, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, they said they were featured in Vogue and all this stuff. I highly believe it. Um, let's see the About Us. We spend hours we spend thousands of hours designing products, ethnically sourcing materials through the hive fabric. We wanted, this, this is just like so funny. It all started from an idea. We wanted to design a fashion forward products to make other females feel empowered and confident. And this is from Sincere Sally was born. From the tiny shores of of brown base and Sincere Sally has quickly become a leading globe label. Uh, yeah, no. Let's see about returns. They always say how there's a 14 day return, but where are these address? Like, who are you gonna respond if your stuff doesn't get here? Always go with your guts, ladies. Um, I personally don't believe they were featured anywhere because you can steal a logo and by the looks of it they stole in pictures so that was just one of the ones I saw let's go and actually see the store and see what kind of uh, stuff they got let's see dresses 
Oh my god, these are so pricey. For a real company, I'd suggest you just go with BB because they're exactly the same price, but these aren't like, as I said, brand. They're mostly like... Yeah, I'm not, not impressed at all. Let's see about accessories. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, thought I can get a real Michael Kors fanny pack for the same price and maybe even cheaper. Um, so here's another thing that makes me kind of think that they're somewhat real if they work with a company like this. So I've never heard of Sizzle. And I guess like you can pay it in six weeks and take it. So when they work with companies like that, it kind of like, you know, makes me question. I would never pay for product. I've never had I've never will and I feel like these prices are a little too high personally not my preference I think the some of the styles is cute but I feel like the Instagram and the website don't go together if that makes sense I think I can get a really really nice dress and skirt somewhere else for a quarter of the price for example this Vogue shirt $50 let's look up on Wish, um, a Vogue crop top. Always do your research, ladies. That's all I gotta tell you. Just do your research. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. Last time I think I found it under just a Vogue. $13, that's the same price. Oh no, $50. Uh, yeah. You can get the whole outfit of Vogue if you're really a Vogue fan for $20 on Wish. You get the bottom and the top. Not only the crop top, but the bottom top. So please let me know what you think about this company. Personally, I don't think they're a scam in a way that they're gonna take your money and not give you the product. They're definitely making money off of you by not featuring you. And the fact that you'll get featured on any of their websites are really, really slim to none if you pay attention to their aesthetic. They pretty much only like white girls, if you notice that. Well, ladies, that's all the time I have for you. Thank you, ladies, so much. I love reading your messages, your comments, and I can't wait for the next video. I love you guys, and can't wait to see you guys on season three. I love you guys, boss out.